Hey everybody, Bill Stanton here with Producing Results. As a leader, don't you just hate it when your team members bicker and squabble and fight among themselves? Doesn't that just drive you crazy? Not me. I love it. Why? Two reasons. <gasps> Two re See what I did there? Yeah, if you watch the video back, you'll be able to pick it up. Two reasons why I love it when my team members fight among themselves. Now, this is something I learned back when I was producing my sketch comedy show. And my team members would, would squabble and bicker and disagree about a lot of things. You know, different sketches, different jokes, different edits. And when I first started out, didn't really quite know what I was doing. I used to step in pretty quickly and try and break up those fights because, you know, it's not good for the team. It's dissent, not good for morale. We want everybody, you know, seeing the same way and joining hands and singing Kumbaya. Ooh, we like that. I eventually learned, no, that's not the best thing necessarily. It's not a bad thing, and here's two reasons why. The first reason is that when your team members are disagreeing about something, even to the point where they squabble and fight over it, it means there's a difference of opinion. Now that can be a very, very good thing, because when two or more bright people have different opinions about something, they get to kind of hash them out, and generally, not always, but generally, the best ones tend to rise to the top. So you get a better outcome, you get a better product. Now, there are times, of course, when you as a leader do have to step in and maybe break it up or decide one way or another, but don't be too quick to do that. Now, the second reason I liked it when my team members fought about something was because it meant that they were passionate about the outcome. They cared about the product. Boy, as a leader, I would much rather have team members who cared passionately, maybe even vehemently about the outcome of a product as opposed to team members who just say, eh, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do, it's fine with me. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Wouldn't you rather have somebody fighting for what they believe in as opposed to saying, yeah, it's good enough, it's fine, it'll do, I don't care, I'm going home. Yeah. So, one, when team members disagree, it can lead to better results and better ideas bubbling to the top. And two, it means there's some passion, it means they, they care about the outcome. Both of those are very, very good things. So as a leader, again, don't be too quick to step in and try and get that peace and harmony all together. Let them duke it out for a little bit. I think you'll find you'll end up with a better product. As always, I hope this helps you produce better results with your team. But now I'd like to hear from you. What's an experience that you've had where disagreement within your team has led to a better outcome? Head on over to BillStaten.com, leave a note in the comment section, and let us know about it so that we can learn from your experience. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to my video channel, and don't forget to tell all your friends and colleagues about it. Share it with them. And if you want even more insights on leadership, teams, creativity, and change, head on over to BillStaten.com and sign up for my email updates. I'll catch you next time around, and until then, go out there and produce great results today.